Hi guys, Jason here, Jason's Creative Adventures, and today I'm just going to go over some of my gear because I'm getting ready to go camping. I'm not sure just how soon. Um, it's going to be kind of how my schedule allows and the weather and everything going on at home. But I'm going to go through my gear and I bought a new one-man tent and I found my old one-man tent and I bought a new one-man tent because I just wasn't very confident that my original one-man tent is very user-friendly. It's got two poles that go dead center and I don't know, we're going to give her a try and uh, just see. But uh, I'm going to try to keep this video as short as possible. This is the old aluminum style cook kit and this is pretty much the same thing that I found that is in stainless steel only it does not snap shut like you would think it should so I don't know what the dealio is with that but it doesn't like this thing just doesn't snap on so otherwise I like it I mean it's a good cook set it's Pretty much, I think stainless steel. That's why I bought it. Other than it's got the blue plastic cup, but it's almost the same cook kit, just a little different. Seems to be easier to fit together though, but this one isn't much better. Problem with the aluminum, things just don't seem to cook as well, and then things sear on there more. I mean, it's pretty much the same cook kit, just this is all aluminum, so all the same thing. Uh, most of y'all pretty familiar with that stuff. And this just snaps shut. Maybe that's supposed to go like that. These things never cooperate. At least this one is a lot better about take this wing nut. You can actually lock her down. Get this in the right place. This has been bent up quite a bit. I'm gonna have to re-bend it so that it stays closed if I plan on using it. Whoops. Keep getting out of the frame. But that'll pretty much stay connected, but is a pencil of sliding loose. So, whatever. <clears throat> the main thing I want to do is check out my tents. There's my um, tarp. Two tarps. So that means. Okay, here's the hammock I want to try out. My new bug net hammock. So that's the bug net hammock. So let's go put that up. Hopefully, I'm getting good video done, but we will see. So, that's, okay, 
that comes out of there. There's a rod for the bug net, I'm assuming. Okay. Get you further away. Yeah, I think that would be good. Keep the bugs off you. The only thing is, they just doesn't come with a rain fly, and I want one that has the bug nut rain fly combo deal. And I haven't been able to find one of those yet, so that's what we got to do next. All right, let me hook you back up. We got more to go. This was just the hammock part. All right, get you guys all hooked back up here. So that is the hammock. Now we'll go through some of the other stuff I got. We're going to set up a couple of one man tents. Here's the one man, the, a chair, a little camp chair. Here's the one man tent. Let me get this camera uh, somewhat protected. All right, I'm going to put up this chair so I have something to sit on. This is just out in my backyard, not doing anything fancy. little camp chair that I picked up. Is it? Last one. You're supposed to put the bottom on first. that I bought. Very, very muddy back here, so this is just sinking in. This is a very easy camp chair to take up the tank down, goes in that. So let's find a good place to put this 
tent up. And then I got another tent to put up somewhere. We'll put them up next to each other. Hopefully. Okay. Let's hope that the camera stays where I want it to. Move this over. Do this over here. Slightly less muddy over here. Now guys, here's my other one man tent, and this one goes together slightly differently, and I'm going to have to lay it out this way. So, try not to get over the guide wires of that one. So... All right, guys, here's my older one-man tent. We got two stakes left over. Now, which one would you rather bring? They both break down to about the same amount. I don't think I've quite mastered how to do this one yet. I know, I, I know I'm not doing this one right. Some about the front parts of this, I just can't figure out the instructions. And I gotta look at the instructions in here a little better. So I gotta look at those instructions a little better. But that hammock, or one of these tents, I'm thinking I still like this one better. I just don't care for the poles that go in front of this, that you gotta work your way you gotta work your you gotta work your way around that pole when you get in and out. But other than that, I mean there's I've crawled inside of that before. There's plenty of room. That you probably want to go feed first in because it's narrow on that far end over there. So alright, let's get hop to the other part of this video. This is my favorite machete right here but this one has had some wear and tear if you see part of the handles missing right there but uh, this is still a very usable machete I used that a lot for when I was doing running my wood chipper and clearing the side shoots off of the branches and stuff and I've chopped through wood and stuff, but I've never tried to baton wood with it. And every machete I've tried to baton wood, the handle is broke off. So, uh, this is my other hammock. It uh, 
all it does is uh, hook up and it's just a regular hammock. It doesn't have a screen or top on it or anything. It's getting wet out. Right, I got the two tarps on the two ends. They're just the camo uh, tarps. I'm going to pull those out and get them all over the place and have to put them back. So let's go over what I got in here. Uh, a poncho. GoPro stopped working a while ago, so I could run in and get a new battery. put that over my uh, tent or maybe my hammock. Alright. My Hui Man saw. This is a little thing I found at the truck stop. It's a uh, gadget and gear. Um, this was the one that was the color that I thought would work best for being more outdoorsy. They had some other colors that. So, got my meat cutting knife. It's also a SOG knife. Get you down here where you can see better. So, if you look right there on the handle, I don't know if you can see that, it says SOG. Comes with this uh, leather case, which I think is cool. And in here, it got the flint and steel. Uh, thermometer that reads Celsius and Fahrenheit. Two sets of spoon, knife, and fork. And that's pretty much all I got in here. Right now, anyway. I do need to put my can opener deals in there. Probably my favorite cook kit so far, which I've hardly ever used, so. But I've got a bunch of seasoning in there. Curry, turmeric, it's all getting all over in there because I don't close these up very well. Oh. There is my can openers. And I think both of them are, yeah, both, both of them right here. It's covered in stuff, but there's my military style can openers. I got two of them in here. I got uh, all kinds of seasonings and stuff in here. Salt and pepper, turmeric, curry, white pepper, cayenne pepper. So, whatever I want to use. Oh, 
I like this because it actually closes shut like it's supposed to when you get everything in there right and I don't this time All right, what is the problem child here there that should go so there you go snapshot I like these things Alpine still wood pot Just bought this Glacier Stainless, and I've got to play with this to figure out how to use it. So, have not used that bad boy yet, but I'm going to figure out how to do it. I need to bring some coffee and stuff, but uh, there you go. Then I got the Sterno isobutane fuel, just enough for just a couple of nights at the most. If I was going on a longer trip, I got the ones that are twice as big. Alright, let me point you up here. This is getting annoying. Here, bring you closer too. Alright. So, I've got a tarp here and a tarp here right now. I don't feel like dragging those out and unfolding them and having to redo it. But uh, here's my thing that goes on top of the isobutane to uh, screws on top so you can uh, get your flame and cook off of. I'll take it out. It ain't too much of a pain to bite. It's pretty much all screw this tight and get this to Turn it on and then you just screw that on the top and then undo this and then you and then the gas will start going and then you just got a spark or a flame and get it started. So I really really liked it first but for some reason it the uh, blades don't want to stay where the blade doesn't want to stay when you lock it down but I think it'll still be useful you're supposed to if you want to use it like this with both of these pieces out with the thing that you can do to break up the soil and this the thing the problem is you see this rounded part right here see this rounded part right here 
I have had problems with this. Or is it this? I forget. One of the two doesn't want to uh, stay. I think it is when. I don't know. I have to put it back in action to figure out what my problem was, but like that. When I was trying just to have this, like this, this thing, if you look how much that moves, and I don't know, I just had a problem. This was starting to bend, and it was working its way. Look, that ain't good. I don't like that. It shouldn't be able to do that. I think that's what my problem was with it. But I think you could still make it work. I'm still going to bring it with. I have no idea where my case for this went. But I have used this for different things around the house. I haven't really used it for camping stuff. So. Pretty much all my bag of tricks in here other than in here. I've got a bug net face mask thing. I don't think I put anything in this bottom part this time. But, alright, now let's put all this stuff back in. But, uh, after I edit this video, I'm probably going to chop a lot of things out or put stuff on speed up because watching me set up a couple of these things, I'm sure it was boring. And I only want this to be a short video. And I plan on bringing this camp chair that I'm sitting on. One of them one man tents, or the hammock, or both, if I don't know where I'm going. My ride out on my bike using that Cabela's hiking bag right there. And uh, I'll have room for something on the back of my bike to carry with me, a small bag with whatever. I've got a, I don't think I need to bring my um, uh, bow and arrow at all. But uh, I will try to bring some stuff. But uh, So, you can see all three of those in my backyard. I've got some cleanup to do in my backyard. But would you rather camp in that green one, the red and white one, it's more of a gray, red and gray, or sleep in the hammock? The hammock would probably be more comfortable and easier to pack up and easier to put up and down, especially after some um, practice. But I definitely need to hang a tarp over top of it somehow. And I don't know how to do that. I want to get the one that comes with the rain fly. So I want to upgrade to one that has that but has the bug net, but has the rain fly that goes over the top. So but I think I like my original green one better. I gotta practice with this one here. I don't know what I'm doing wrong with that front part, but I cannot seem to figure out how the poles are supposed to go. So anyway. I will, I think there's a couple pieces I forgot to bring out for this video, but it's not a big deal because it's not the actual camping video. Alright guys, so that's pretty much it. I'm just getting ready. Preparations for going camping. I gotta wait. It's still like middle end of March and waiting to get into April and um, get closer to May and then um, I can really go do some camping. Um, and do some overnight. So I'm just going to do one or two nights at a time when I can, but I got to go camping with the girls too. <coughs> 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 <coughs>
So, anyway, um, I'm going to try to make this video when I edit it. I'm going to try to chop it down really good. Just give you guys the highlights of this video. we got to take this stuff down now. So, thanks for watching, guys. Um, please give me a like. Subscribe if you want to. Uh, give me any comments or questions, any suggestions, great. Um, I gotta get this stuff put up and get back inside because I have a video to do for my daughter's channel, Elena's Playing Adventures. Check her out. Um, if you like videos of kids or if you got little kids that like to watch other kids play, um, Elena's Playing Adventures. So that's a plug for my daughter's channel. Anyway, catch y'all later.